here at Getaway Rock Festival in Gävle and I'm sitting together here with Mario, the drummer of Gojira. Nice to meet you, Mario. How are you today? I'm, I'm good, thank you. Nice to meet you. I'm very excited about the, the show tonight. And uh, last week uh, you played in Wacken in front of thousands of people and I've heard you performed a great show. How did the crowd t- treat you there? Very good, actually. Uh, it's funny because Germany, we are we are not so big in Germany compared to France or Scandinavia or USA, for example. So it was great for us to play the main stage this time. And uh, yeah, we had a great response. Yeah. I wish I could have been there, but I had friends there and they said they loved the show. Oh, so, cool. Yeah. So uh, in general, how's the touring been uh, so far? Uh, it's been one year on the road right now. So... Um, we play almost everywhere except um, Australia, Japan for the moment, and uh, but we play a lot in US, in Europe, again and again. So it's an amazing tour for us. It's uh, a new step also because we, we can feel that the, the band is growing up, growing up. So uh, it's a great feeling actually. We feel very good. And, and throughout the touring, have you noticed which songs have been most popular? Uh, about the last album, uh, I would say two songs are very uh, popular, and it's The Gift of Guilt and uh, L'Enfant Sauvage. Uh, each time we play these songs, we can feel, you know, like uh, a real enthusiasm from the, the crowd. Yeah. I know you started with The Gift of Guilt at Wacken, and that really like, raised the bar immediately. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We finished the show with Gift of Guilt, but it's almost the same, yeah. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, and how, how does it feel to be, be back here in Sweden? Last fall, uh, you played in, for instance, Gothenburg and Stockholm, and I saw you in, at Brewhouse. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, how do you feel that Swedish metalheads are, are treating you? Uh, we love Sweden. We have a lot of respect for Sweden and Scandinavian in general. It's uh, one of our, our favorite places, you know, uh, to play. So. Uh, it's an honor for us to play in uh, such a beautiful festival because uh, we know Sweden have a very strong scene. A lot, a lot of bands come from Sweden. We, you have a, 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 str- a very strong identity on the sound, the composition. So each time we, we listen to a Swedish, the Swedish band, we can tell, ah, that's a Swedish band. So for us, we, uh, we have a lot of respect for Sweden. So it's great to be here. Yeah. Do you have any personal favorites among Swedish bands that perhaps inspire you as a musician? Uh, at the gates, In Flames, um, yeah, <laughs> for oh, example. Good choices. Yes. <laughs> but uh, in contrast to, to Sweden, uh, the metal scene doesn't seem to be that big in your home country, France. Uh, have you felt throughout like the last couple of years that you've become more or more accepted? How, how does the metal scene look today compared to a couple of years ago? Um, I, I think we have a lot of very good band in France, but we don't have this culture of um, playing outside of France. And uh, we are a part of the Latin uh, country, you know, so we don't speak English very well. You know, for example, for me, it's a pain in the ass to speak English. <laughs> well, you're doing very well at the uh, moment. <laughs> yes, thank you. But um, it's not in our culture. So we have this problem of, uh, to be exported, you know, outside of France because of the language. You know, like uh, Spanish people and Portuguese people. You know, we are three, three or four countries like this. Italy also. So, it's very hard for us to, you know, to impose our our music in uh, the north of Europe and USA. But now it's changing because, because of maybe internet, uh, the fact uh, people are more open. So now we have a very strong band in France, and maybe the fact we we are famous outside of France help a little bit. Yeah, I've read a couple of interviews with you that you mentioned ba- French metal bands such as Loud Blast, Merciless, and Blindside, and they haven't been promoted that to a great extent here in, in Scandinavia, for instance. But are those bands big in, in France? Uh, they were very big, and uh, Loud Blast is still big, for example. Uh, but you have new bands, more modern, maybe, with. Um, very intelligent style you know so like Trepalium is one of my favorite band in, uh, in France we love them and we tour with them actually with they play with us in Gothenburg um, and uh, uh, you have Acrid Acrid you have a lot of black metal band so uh, it's, it's it, it will it will grow I'm sure yeah. and uh, speaking of your latest album La France Sauvage uh, it's been 
great success both am- among fans and critics as well. Do you feel any pressure to to top that album? Are you perhaps writing some material at the moment? Um, I think we are very confident. Most of the time we, uh, because we are very perfectionists. As for example, uh, when I think about L'Enfant Sauvage, sometimes I, I can feel ah, uh, we could. We, we, we should be something uh, do something better you know sometimes I have some regret for each album so I'm sure the next one will be better <laughs> you know? can you have a regret about La France Sauvage do you, can you give us an example for example the song uh, The Axe could be better at the end um, I'm sure The Fall the last song of the album could be better also so you know if I have to go back to this album Uh, I would like to change some details, you know. <laughs> well, you can never be completely pleased, I guess. But are really, but are you, in fact, writing on some material? Do you have time to do that while touring? Now we have to organi- or- organize uh, ourselves in a bus. We try to find some idea on the bus, and we, when we go back home, we try to compose on the computer. But it's true that it's hard to to be the four of us all the time because when we go back home we have our families we are not kids anymore you know so uh, but for sure we will need time to uh, sit on a room uh, with an instrument and to compose yeah well uh, your music has been quite hard for critics to label some call it progressive technical metal some progressive groove metal Uh, obviously your music is like one of a kind it's hard, hard to label it you've created your own niche within like the metal world mm. what makes your music stand out according to you uh, <laughs> I was thanks first but it, yeah it's we are very bad to put tags on our music even the four of us we are not agree you know <laughs> uh, I would say metal modern yeah But uh, I'm not sure. Groovy death metal? No. Uh, groovy. Uh, I love the t- the term groovy. You know. It, it is groovy yeah. the, with the, with a hard twist on it, kind kinda. But perhaps we can just call it Gojira metal at the moment. Ah, nice. Yeah. <laughs> so you've created your own metal tag today. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Yeah. And um, in an interview with Guitar World from I think last year, your brother said that you guys are living the dream at the moment. Did you ever anticipate Gujira becoming such a great success around the world? Uh, we never know, you know, but uh, my goal as a child was to be a rock star. <laughs> so I quit with the studies and uh, I started just playing drums like motivated, like, like really, really motivated, but only motivated by composition, not about success. Just I wanted to make good composition. I wanted to to be a good drummer, but I never thought about success, you know, having groupies or made, you know, interviews. Uh, we were, the four of us, very, very uh, motivated to, to do great music. And it's still our main motivation to do great composition and to be good, you know. One thing that I think makes you stand out is I think you're a great showman on stage. I've seen you guys a couple of times live, and like you're head banging and you're double basing at ferocious speeds, and then you're entertaining the crowd all at the same time. I'm very impressed. How, how, how do you manage to do that? Oh, <laughs> uh, just the motivation, you know. And uh, I have to do some sport, you know, aside of the the stage. But uh, for what me, sport uh, do you do? Ah, I do bodyboarding in the ocean and sometimes I run with friends but uh, you know when I'm on stage uh, for me it's I try always to think maybe it's the last time of my life maybe not you know it's a bit uh, special but uh, I try to give everything you know and uh, not thinking about uh, what I'm doing after the show uh, oh I have to pay my bill or you know I don't think about any I try to vive be very present and to give 100% of myself and uh, to uh, make a special moment yeah and uh, changing the topic completely uh, later this fall you're opening for Slayer at Madison Square Garden and if that isn't a t- testament to success I don't know what is how do you feel now uh, being able to tour with bands such as Slayer I mean they're legends in the metal world of course It, it's an amazing feeling, but uh, we know we have to work hard and still, even if now we have a certain success, 
we know that we we have to you know practice every day we have to uh, be very intelligent and very vigilant you know we I think people who start to just relax, oh, it's okay, we are famous, they start to fail, you know, so. So you're going to try not to, to do that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's good to be on your toes. Uh, and L'Enfant Sauvage uh, is the first relief release with Roadrunner Records. How's it been to be a part of the Roadrunner family for, for, for a while now? Uh, it's a big changement for us and uh, a new step also. For example, before uh, signing on Roadrunner, we never play really in Sweden. So this is a symbol, you know. For example, since we sign with Roadrunner, we start playing everywhere. We have our CD, we have interviews, so we can feel the difference. And they respect us a lot, a lot, a lot. They don't try to change us. They want us exactly what we are. And that's the most important yeah. aspect. So you're pleased with the collaboration with the Roadrunner? Yes. <laughs> Glad to hear that. Uh, and I think that your music is, is very technical. And when you listen to all of your albums, you can hear that there's some great musicians be behind the work. Do you feel uh, personally that you have to go the extra mile, mile as a drummer? Do you feel that you have to push yourself to the next limit and uh, evolve? Uh, the technical is not our goal, you know, uh, for example, yesterday I saw many, many bands like Dying Fetus, for example, and the, the drummer was so technical, so fast, and compared to him, for example, uh, I look like I'm playing something simple, you know. So our goal is not the technique, but uh, if we can put technique and uh, if this technique can serve the music, it's a, it's a good thing, you know. But uh, my goal is not to be more technical. My, my goal is to be very musical, you know, more. Well, uh, what, what, what do you think is in store for Gojira within the near future? How do you think the band will evolve? I don't know yet, you know, but uh, maybe more powerful, maybe more melodic, more emotional, everything more, you know. <laughs> I guess we'll have to, to wait and see, but you've been been uh, together now for all, like, almost 16 years now yes, and uh, do you and your brother still get along I, I'm sure you've had this question ton tons of times but <laughs> I'm still gonna ask it yeah he's, he's one of my best friend ever you know he's uh, he understands me perfectly he respects me a lot and uh, we love each other you know so it's a great adventure for me to play with him it's uh, it's an honor also <laughs> uh, lastly um, uh, I myself, perhaps you've noticed, is I'm, I'm a great Gojira fan, so I'm very honored to be sitting here with you today. Um, I was just wondering, is there any chance that you will soon be headlining and perhaps perform um, uh, the, the Way of All Flesh or La Fon Sauvage in its entirety and perhaps have like an evening with Gojira? Yeah, why not? Sometimes we, we think about it. Why not? Yeah. Well, that's on my wish list for Santa this year, so <laughs> <laughs> maybe it's becoming reality. Maybe, I'm not sure about this year because uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we don't have a lot of headline tour. We, 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 are, we are going to be main support for huge tour, but uh, not headlining. Okay. But uh, why not? Yeah. So it might be a possibility, perhaps. Yes. <laughs> okay, I'm very happy to hear that. So I, I look forward to uh, listening and watching to you later tonight. And I appreciate you taking the time. So good luck tonight. Thank you very much. <laughs>